The Curious Case of Igor and Grika Bogdanov The French Bogdanov twins are a baffling case. In fact, when their published papers finally got some attention from the mainstream scientific community, some of the world's leading theoretical physicists had no idea if the twins were geniuses or complete frauds. In 2002, the brothers skyrocketed to physics infamy when claims surfaced that they had published a series of papers that were little more than gibberish to get their doctorate degrees. Newcomers to the science game, they were better known as hosts of a 1970s and 80s French television show called Temps X. It wasn't until the 1990s that they entered the science world. When they published their first book, they were sued for plagiarism and settled out of court. Eventually, the Bogdanov twins landed at the University of Bourgogne where their advisors say they were left alone to write whatever they pleased. Their advisors also said that the brothers had an extraordinarily high opinion of themselves and their intelligence, which made it difficult to teach them anything. In 1999, Grika got his PhD with the lowest grade possible, and Igor failed. However, Igor was ultimately awarded his PhD after publishing three papers as a supposed measure of credibility. In an interview with the New York Times, Dr. Roman W. Jackie, the professor who approved Igor's thesis, said, all these were ideas that could possibly make sense. Others were not so kind, calling the Bogdanov's work the Finnegan's wake of theoretical physics. Their theories concern the instant after the Big Bang, so there's no way to determine if they're incredibly brilliant or just making things up. Some call their theories profound, others call them laughable, and some aren't even sure what the twins are talking about. In their papers, they claim to have found a mathematical link between things like infinite temperature and imaginary time. The brothers maintain that their work is legitimate, while others like John Baez, an expert in topological quantum field theory call their theses gibberish. The place between the neither here nor there, has places where infinite temperature lives, on the other side of the universe, in the reaches of cold space. Infinite is just a number. Between the planes and the parallels, time spins in an imaginary state. For time is infinite, and the scale of temperature is imaginary after all. Stay paranoid my friends. <laughs>